just like to introduce our ABCD outdoor switchboard. The board is designed to contain a catastrophic effects of an arc fault event. We designed and built two switchboards for testing and certification at Nader Electrical Laboratory down in Sydney. This is how the test was set up. Our first tests were designed to fail to give us our lower engineering limit. If the flash ignites the black squares or if the doors dislodge, it is considered a fail. You can now see how well the ABCD board contains the destructive force and makes them safe for personnel and public. Here is an aluminium uh, version of the ABCD board. Uh, this is rated to a 20 kA fault line side and load side. Okay, so you can see we've actually tested this. We've let the explosion off inside this chamber. You can see at least a rather large mess. But what the beauty about this test was, this proves that a maintenance worker or anyone working from to and from this board, working on the board, could actually have stood this far away whilst working, looking on the board. A fault would have occurred in this board. Myself would have been able to go home to my family. Currently, the board's in, in operation around Australia, not this one. You would not have been able to go home to your family. So that's something we have pride uh, proud ourselves in here. So we've set this up for various different scenarios. Incoming section right down to a general DB, which be, would be accessed a lot. It's very similar to the one at home. An electrician may have just switched off here, bang, a fault may have occurred. Again, I'm going home to my family. The design allows me, as a maintenance worker or an electrician, open up the door. This outer door is for environmental purposes and security purposes where there's a locked door. But now I can actually turn this on, operate equipment. Uh, I can be just dressed as I am. In the boards in circulation I'd have to have full arc flash PPE uh, which is a larger cost, a lot, a lot more uh, time taken. Uh, this way I can turn on, pump starts, and now I'm going home. The reason why we have uh, numerous different designs on our palette here is we really wanted to optimise our design. Obviously, we have to be competitive in the market, uh, but we wanted to really know what was a failure and what was a pass. Um, hence the reason we have a number of discussions here. The other reasoning is it is a modular system so that we can combine all these different cells into an application out in the field. Uh, for example, we could have a number of DOL and feeder sections, depending on the pumps, the uh, uh, feeders out in the field, number of uh, distribution sections, and um, VSD and soft starter sections. Um, on top of this, uh, this board is actually rated at IP66 if we are to put a soft starter uh, within the switchboard. If it is a VSD, we have a fascia, um, which will mean that it drops down to IP56. So the reasons why we've gone for aluminium and in stainless is because both metals behaved differently. Um, uh, we also did this because we have seaside environments where uh, sea salt uh, can corrode the switchboards more than say the aluminium and you have coal loaders and other attributions where this board suits the applications much more than the aluminium. Now let's see how these switchboards work in a public space situation. This is a typical mid-sized public utility switchboard. There are about 24,000 of these around Australia. This is also where my wife and children walk the dog. If I were to do maintenance on this switchboard, firstly I'd have to cordon off the public area. Then I'd have to employ extra staff for safety. Those administration controls, I'd have to wear PPE to a category two or possibly three, including face shields and rubber gloves. In other switchboards, I'd have to be kitted up in a full bomb suit. ABCD boards far superior than these boards here in the market is we've designed the, the blast to be contained inside the board. That presents safety to me, my, my staff, and the public safety. Uh, and with the current legislation changes, the onus is on 
the company, the owner operators, uh, they are held responsible and accountable for this. Uh, there's plenty of things in the media at the moment uh, with the design that we've created. Uh, this negates the risk and keeps the community safe. Hi, I'm Peter. I experienced an old fault uh, in the 80s whereby an arc flash uh, propagated across two phases due to a spanner being dropped in the buzz bar chamber. I witnessed uh, one of my colleagues uh, get consumed in the arc flash. He was taken away by an ambulance um, and uh, we, he never returned to work. In my experience, uh, arc uh, fault incidents are rare and therefore not very well understood by um, the general public as well as the general technical fraternity.